to the model bench. Um, so I've continued my build of the 1989 Batmobile from Tim Burton's Batman. Um, just doing a lot of proprietary work on it at the moment. So as you can see here, with the main body. I've glued in the fins. They just have to be filled, sanded. Glued in the front kind of turbine part. Glued in these uh, two kind of pieces here. There will be a cover going over here. And I've glued in this side piece. This was the piece, if you remember in the previous video, I I always, on the previous models, I always had this too far forward. It's actually meant to sit in like that. And then this area here sits in really snugly. So obviously the next step I'm gonna do with this is I'll give it a coat of primer, and then a coat of matte black. Um, so that's, that's really nice. That's kind of more or less done, that section. This here is the photo etch that's going to go on behind the two seats. Originally it had a little kind of a uh, little bit of detail in the middle but it wasn't very good. So as you can see there it's much nicer. The cockpit, again I just removed this little piece of plastic here because the new um, gear change is going to go here. And then again I just sanded off the back piece here. That's the photo etch gone in. Again, this will all be primed and repainted. The seats, they originally had kind of these mesh molded in, and also this part was attached to the seat. So what I've done then is I've cut off this the headrest, a bit of photo etch then goes on the back. Then I just popped in this uh, nice, much more detailed photo etch piece. So again, once that's all primed, that should look really nice. Then the big improvement is the dash. So originally the dash had molded gauges and dials and all that. So I had to sand them all off, then build up the photo etch parts. And then they'll obviously get stuck in there. But as you can see, huge difference in detail. I got to paint this one black first, then uh, a film of gauges goes behind, which will fill all those holes. Then I'll glue it into place. So yeah, really pleased with that. Once that's glued into place, this little bit of black to shown that will get removed. Yeah, but as you can see, just so much nicer. Really fine detail. So yeah, really pleased with how they they went together. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment, so we'll get on with the build. Okay, here is what I've done with the body. Um, just give it a, look, a light coat of white primer. Um, you can see I've filled the gaps here. Um, the seam lines, pretty happy with them. I think once the black goes on them, you won't really notice. That one probably could be a little bit better, but uh, I think I'm calling it done. Um, I just use a two-part kind of uh, clay that you mix together and then you know you've got a few minutes to work with it and then it goes hard so I just use that to fill in these. As you can see it just really ties everything together it gives you a better idea of what you're dealing with any blemishes or whatever. I might give this another light coat of primer a little bit of a sand and then it's ready for the black matte. few more of the photo etch done. Um, I removed the back out of these intakes. I'll show a picture here now. And once I got all the plastic removed, I just stuck on the photo etch and I think you'll agree it's a lot better. It's a much finer, um, much finer uh, mesh. Once that's primed, that should look really well. So I did that on both sides. Um, it's the gear stick kind of photo etch gear stick. This goes in behind the two seats, just at the back. It sits like that. That still has to be painted black. And here are the pedals. Again, they just have to be painted black. Same with this panel. They're like the, you know, 
brakes, clutch, whatever, accelerator. So again, that's a really nice bit of detail to uh, the kit. This will all be primed and then just painted a flat black. Here is the dash now fully painted, finished. As you can see, I've put in the little sheet of the gauges. And what I also did was I got some really thin uh, sheet of plastic and put it in between the photo etch and the back. So you can kind of see it gives the impression of glass in those gauges. I think that's quite nice. But yeah, huge difference compared to um, the dash that comes with the car. I think you'll agree, the photo etcher really just elevates it. So here are all the parts that had chrome on them. I've now stripped them of that chrome. And what I did uh, to achieve this, um, I just got some, you can use bleach, or in my case, I had some drain cleaner put a little bit into a container, sat the parts in, and the chrome just comes straight off. A few little bits left here and there that I can just scrape off, but it really strips them really well, doesn't harm the plastic. Um, so these are now ready to be sprayed a kind of silver, you know, silver, a more realistic silver color. Also on the wheels, because I have photo etch of the bat symbols, they do tell you to uh, sand that off, but I'm thinking once these are painted silver and then the uh, photo etch of the bat symbol to go on top, I think it should be fine. You know, I think it will you know, achieve the same result. Again, as I say, these are going to be painted a more realistic silver. A little bit of dry brush kind of to make them, you know, a little bit weathered, a little bit uh, industrial, you know, wear and tear. And it will just be much much nicer than just obviously the chrome that, that it comes with yeah so that's all those parts ready to go also the steering wheel gets a lovely little bat symbol there uh, photo etch piece in the middle Um i did remove the one that was there but yeah so a really good method um, and they are all ready so a little bit more progress has been achieved um, this is the uh, cockpit, so pretty happy with that. As you can see, I've added in the steering wheel. Um, it's the photo etch gears, gear uh, area, the seats, and everything's just nicely. Uh, it's a nice self-contained unit, ready to go into the car. So pretty happy with that. Um, these are the wheels so I basically painted the inside silver and then dry brushed on that kind of coppery effect and then this is the photo etch uh, bat symbols as you can see it really makes them pop so um, yeah they're looking really good again it just gives a nice little bit of texture to uh, the finished wheel uh, the kind of engine intakes it's got the photo etch part on the back and yeah, just painted them silver it's literally only going to be that amount we'll be seeing and then for the turbine exhaust at the back painted them silver and then just kind of dry brushed on that kind of pinky properly color you know to give it that kind of uh, you know burnt kind of flame effect you know these are the gas caps they're just literally plain silver um, yeah, so I really like the colouring on that. Again, just gives it a bit of texture, a bit of interest. And then the machinery on the side. As you can see, I've just again painted them silver. Huge difference to the chrome that it, that it comes with. You know, the chrome is just too plasticky looking. So these are just painted silver and then a little bit of dry brush again. I've kind of purples, a little bit of blue in there as well. So it's all very subtle but it just gives it a little bit of texture. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I gave the body of the car another light um, coat of primer. It's not really primer, I suppose. This is what I used. The 
the Citadel color rat bone. I just think these are fabulous, um, fabulous colors. They just go on, they spray so nicely. I use the rat bone, which is kind of like an off white as a primer. Um, and I just think they're absolutely fabulous colors um, if you can get them. They spray, like I say, they spray really nicely. Gives a really nice coverage. You can see there where the join was, that's nicely uh, covered. Same on the other side. So that should really, uh, when I spray this with the matte black, that should really cover very nicely. Um, yeah, so that's ready to go. My plans are to spray it a kind of matte black and then maybe just mist over a kind of purpley colour. Which I think that the, the original car had that kind of, you know, depending on what way the lights hit it. So that is the plans for this. So now I have a lot more work done, as you can see. I've sprayed the uh, car in Tamiya flat black. And um, then gave it a clear coat of um, just a matte finish. I didn't go with the purple in the end, the kind of misting of purple over it. I just I kind of was happy enough with this. Didn't want to push my look, so I've just left it at this. Um, I've glued in the cockpit, as you can see. Um, also the side intakes. And just painted up all the detail here on the side. Um, I've added in the back. Um, turbine. I have to weather these parts just a little bit. I think that looks really nice. Add in the fuel caps. I'll say the uh, cockpit. And the other side. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Um, and again, just in these parts here, just weathered them a little bit. You know, didn't paint everything silver. Now it's actually kind of like a dark orange color. Just that part there, a little bit of silver. Give a little bit of copper to some of those parts. So it just gives a lot of nice detail. You know, everything isn't just silver on top of silver on top of silver. So yeah, that's looking really nice. Another look at the wheels. So they look pretty happy with them. Again, I painted them silver on the inside. Just a kind of light uh, tri brush of kind of a copper metallic colour. And then the photo etch. That symbol's on top. So, yeah. Again, just breaking up kind of silver on everything and, you know, gives a nice little bit of detail. Bit of texture. And here we have the finished car. Um, I think I'm going to call this done. Um, as you can see, I sprayed the rest. I sprayed the canopy black. Um, installed all the wheels and everything. The machine guns turned out really well. They're the photo etch machine guns, and really nice. You get the kind of little mechanic uh, me mechanism there, bringing you know to bring it up and down. It's obviously fixed in place and I just fixed the two uh, doors as if they would flip up and machine guns come out so they're really nice really happy with them um, installed the front turbine that can be moved in and out the front lenses um, dirtied up the uh, back kind of exhaust a little bit and the canopy obviously comes off. You've got your interior with the photo etch dash, which I think is really nice. Just gives a really nice fine detail to the finished piece, I think. So yeah, um, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not sure it kind of uh, improves drastically on the toured model I have shown the one with the lights I think that's still my favorite um, but it was nice just to kind of build this with the uh, photo etch parts you can see the photo etch uh, mesh in there again a lot more detailed 
so I am um, but you know it's, as I said before it's a lovely kit I always enjoy making it um, you know so any opportunity just to kind of remake the kit and see if what I can approve on it's always welcome so that is that and um, I will leave it there and um, hope you've enjoyed this build and um, if you have please like and subscribe and until next time I will talk to you then